Our house is still a work in progress. Not supposed to look like that. But today, we have bigger fish to fry. And we're heading to the airport. Unfortunately, there's a couple curveballs. If they do let us fly, it's gonna be a wicked horrible flight because <laughs> they're concerned they're gonna have to ground all flights. But we have a mission to accomplish. World is your oyster. What's up guys and good morning. We are getting ready to tackle another day here in the edition. The sun is out and it is shining. However, it's still in the teens. It's like 12 degrees outside right now. <laughs> Yesterday we got the panel installed. We got the mini split connected. We got an outlet circuit going and we got the lights in the crawl space completely functional, which is really, really nice because now every time we have to go down there, you just flick on that switch. It's well lit. It's not warm, but it's a little bit more comfortable than having the floodlights blasting you in the face. So we might actually take a quick trip to Home Depot. Oh. I think there's some stuff we need and also maybe stop by the mailbox. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Maybe take the garbage. Cool. So I think we're probably going to do that and then we'll come back and get started in the igloo back there. Cool. Well, we uh, loaded up the garbage cans, went and ran those downstairs, and now we are heading back into the addition. We are pulling wire, we're installing outlets, we're getting home runs ran, we're running home runs. You guys know I, I hate the run ran debacle. Anyways, we're heading back into the addition and we're getting to work. Winging it. That looks great. I have no idea. Not what I want to hear. <laughs> Make it 52. Make, yeah, well, I don't know. Pick a number, any number. We're 99.9% .9 done with framing, but there's a couple tiny little things we still have to finish up. One of them is this half wall in our new shower, which I think will also. Does there need to be electrical in that wall? Is there a light yeah. switch on that wall? It has to be built today because we are running electrical through it. So Trent is taking some measurements and asking me uh, how big I want it. I don't know, however it feels good to you. Okay. It's how we make most of our decisions. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> basically the light switch and the fan switch for the shower area. And there's gonna be a glass door that opens this direction most likely. And then there'll be like a glass pane that covers the other half of the, the shower right here. But all right. We'll kinda of help encase it all in here. Hopefully this is a good idea. <laughs> feels a little, no, it feels pretty solid actually. Unless you hit it. <laughs> Unless you hit it like that. Yeah. Cool. Now we got that half wall built. Um, now we can get our switches for the light and the fan in that half wall. And I'm just gonna start trying to throw up uh, some of the fart fans that need to go in here. There's gonna be one in here with the toilet and then one over there at the top of that bay, basically to take all the steam from the shower and pump it outside.
What? The snow is like almost up to that window. Wow. Yeah, it's like right there. <laughs> Makes sense. That's wild. Is it okay for that to be mounted at an angle? At an angle? Yeah, like not completely level. I don't see why it would be a problem. Okay. Who knows? Okay. We'll find out. Weird, there's no fourth arm, right? No. That one has zero arms. Okay. It just mounts to one side of the joist. Yeah. I put that block in there and screwed it into the block just to like give it some extra stability, but that's like not what the instructions say to do. Okay. This one just has three points of contact because it's heavy. Mm -hmm. We got both fans mounted. The fart fan and the exhaust fan for the shower. What age did your kids move into a toddler bed? Hmm. Probably right around where Leo's at. Really? Maybe three. Uh, okay. Two and a half to three. Leo has been fighting his naps, which is one adventure on its own, and has also been trying to climb out of his crib, which is a different adventure. And we are very not excited about him climbing out of his crib because we don't want to switch him to a toddler bed because we don't actually have like a fully enclosed room for him to sleep in. I guess he could sleep in the basement, but that feels really far away from us. So if we put a toddler bed where his crib is, it, it's like we'd have to put up like a doggy pen or something to contain him into a space. Something we are trying to avoid, but it seems like it is becoming more and more imminent. Throw some crash pads outside of his crib. Yeah, exactly. Some <laughs> cushions. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's not supposed to look like that. <laughs> Luckily it's just the adapter that it's stuck inside. It's really stuck in there. So. Good. Happy day. <laughs> People have leg day. You guys have thumb day. That's right. We smash our thumbs around here. <laughs> As you're getting older, when you can't see your hair, you're just turning into Bill Burr. Bill Burr? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> just a bald ginger. Yeah. All right, we are moving down into this uh, main bedroom floor level, and it is remarkably colder down here. Like, probably. What do you think? 10 degrees? 15 degrees? I don't know, yeah, it's in the teens for sure. It's really cold. No, like so. the difference between upstairs and here. Oh, yeah. It's at least 10 degrees. 20 degree difference. 20 yeah. degree difference. And it's unbearable. We're in an igloo. Look at the windows. I know, it's crazy. Igloos are supposed to be insulating and warm, though. Yeah, but look at Leo's window. I know. For everybody worried about Leo sneaking out, 
He's not going anywhere. Alright guys, it's getting late. I should probably be in bed right now, but I've got myself a glass of milk. I've got a couple cookies here, and I'm playing June's Journey. Today's video is sponsored by June's Journey, a hidden object mystery game with a captivating detective story taking you back to the glamour of the 1920s. It's hard. There's like three things that are listed and you're like searching, but you can see all these different things and it's like, it, it's a good brain exercise. It's so frustrating too, because like it's a game that's built on speed. So you want to go fast and be quick. And the faster you are, you get like bonus points and it doubles and things like that. It's really difficult. Now you may not peg me for a guy that plays games on my phone. And honestly, I don't play games on my phone that often, but sometimes it's nice at the end of the day to just be able to like sit back and relax have a cookie, have a glass of milk, play a game instead of like sitting and mindlessly watching TV or something. It's actually a free download. You guys can click the link in our description or you can scan the QR code on screen right here. It's available on Android, iOS devices, and it's available on PC through Facebook games. So you guys should definitely check it out. And I wanted to say thanks again to June's Journey for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna play for a little bit longer, finish my cookie and hit the sack, and then I'll see you guys in the morning. It is uh, about 6.30 in the morning. We are getting everything packed up and we are about to head out the door. We have a very special excursion that we are going on right now. And yes, I know we just got back from a long vacation going back to Washington DC and to Florida. But this time we're leaving town for just a couple days and we have a uh, very special objective. So we're gonna take you guys with us. We're about to go drop off Leo and the dogs with Jennifer and we're heading to the airport. Sit down, Lika. <sighs> well, we just did the handoff to Jennifer, both dogs, and Leo, which is something we've never done. I think we've left Leo with my mom once, a long time ago, and for a very short amount of time. We basically never go anywhere without Leo, because I don't want to. <laughs> Why would we? Um, but this weekend, we have some very important things happening, and Leo just would not have fun. Um, but just for this quick 48 hour trip that we're going on, he's gonna stay with Agaga and play with all of his cousins and be very happy and content. I'm really the only one who suffers in this situation. He loves life. So they are all happily tucked into her car and heading back to her house. And we are heading down the valley. Good morning. Yeah. Morning. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you for taking us. Yeah, you're welcome. That's awesome. <laughs> this is so smooth. I know. I uh, forget how easy it is to travel when it's like just you and your spouse. I know. No kids, no dogs. Oh, it's so freeing. <laughs> you can really get used to this. Yeah. <laughs> Text me and let me know what's going on. Okay, yeah, sounds good. Love you. Love you. Thanks, Thanks Dad. Such a different experience not having to do the car seat and the stroller and Leo and five bags. I'm carrying Allie's bag because she's pregnant, but really this is, this is kind of fun <laughs> something we've never done ever before which is fly first class and that's because it was really cheap to upgrade and uh, we don't have Leo or a bunch of stuff with us it's a short flight 
scary though because it feels like once you once you do it you don't want to go back you know it does feel pretty nice <laughs> We never do this, and I completely feel like an imposter being up here. It doesn't, it, I, I don't feel like I belong, <laughs> and there's a separate bathroom for first class, and so I just tried to go to the bathroom, but I tried to go into the closet. <laughs> and the flight attendant had to come over and be like, no ma'am, it's over here. <laughs> we don't belong up here. <laughs> us walk a half a mile to get to an Uber, so. There's buses. Start that process. All right, so we made it to LA airport, and I was just thinking I've never been here before, but actually, uh, we were here, was it last year? No, it was two years ago, to pick up Jennifer and all of her kids when they flew from Wisconsin here, and we surprised all the kids with a trip to Disney. Um, and we had Joel and Leo with us, and then Jennifer and all of her kids came, and we spent a week um, right outside of Disney just kind of like hanging out and having a great time. But we weren't in the airport. We just like picked them up for five minutes and then left. So it doesn't count. But this is where that happened. That's true. Is this our bus? Japanese hotel. It's like a closet. <laughs> There's a sink right here. It is freezing in it here. It is absolutely freezing. How do we turn oh that my off? Gosh. That's cool. The world is your oyster. Oh, it's a cool looking bar though. Yeah. Look at that. Cool vibe, huh? Little oh, cabana yeah. that you can sit in when it's hot and sunny, even though. Wow, it's not that hot or sunny. I must say, Trent did very well. He picked out the hotel. He actually organized and coordinated this entire weekend. It's kind of like a baby moon, I guess. We're uh, not going to take any other trips, I don't think, without Leo until baby number two is born. Um, so he did good. This is cool. I'm excited. So if you look across the street right here, this is the Los Angeles convention center, the LA convention center. And tomorrow and the next day, they are gonna be holding a jiu-jitsu tournament here. And uh, I entered in it. One little uh, problem that we have figured <laughs> out today is they were supposed to do all of like the, the gi competitions, which is where you wear like the traditional clothing on Saturday. And then on Sunday, it was supposed to be no gi. And no gi is where you just wear like shorts and a t-shirt and it's a completely different type of jujitsu, and I'm a white belt, so I can't even enter into the no-gi competitions. You have to be a blue belt or above. And so I was like, all right, everything's gonna happen on Saturday. We'll fly in on Friday. We'll fly out on Sunday. Everything's gonna be great. And today, they released all of the like schedule and all of the information, and everyone except white belts is fighting on Saturday, and all of the white belts are fighting on Sunday. This is going to present a handful of problems because my professor, like my teacher, 
he flies out Saturday night. So he's not even gonna be here to coach me. Like that's my coach. Also now, supposedly he flights at like 1.30 on Sunday and our flight out of here is at 5 p.m. on Sunday. I don't know how any of this is gonna work. If you've ever been to any type of sports competition ever, you know they're never normally on time. Things always get delayed. Expect the unexpected. <laughs> We are waking up to not necessarily a bright and sunny day, but a beautiful new day. Nonetheless, it's raining and overcast here in LA. <sighs> and we have been getting some emails from Delta. It's so dangerous. And when we've got winds that are forecasted to be 70, 80, 90 miles an hour. There goes the trampoline. From trampolines to trees, strong winds blew their way through the state. We had widespread uh, damaging wind across Utah. We have another storm that's going to move into the Pacific Northwest through this weekend. So today is Saturday. Everyone fights on Saturday except for white belts, and I'm a white belt, so now I have to fight on Sunday. Our flight is also on Sunday, a few hours after my fight. Our, our flight is a few hours after my fight. And so we were really stressed. We were like, all right, we're gonna try and make it. If we don't make it, we'll have to reschedule our flight if we miss it or whatever. This morning we wake up, Delta sent us an email and they said, hey, because of all the wind and weather in Salt Lake City and like over the Rocky Mountains, we're probably going to cancel your flight. Like it may still happen so you can stay scheduled, but we're giving you the opportunity right now to change your flight because odds are we're gonna cancel it anyways. So tomorrow, Sunday night, when we're supposed to fly out, we may have to rebook our flight for Monday sometime. Also, if they do let us fly, you guys know how much I hate flying and how much it like really messes with me. If they do let us fly, it's gonna be a wicked horrible flight because they're <laughs> concerned they're gonna have to ground all flights because of wind, which means if they do let you up there, it's gonna be out of control. So I don't even wanna mess with that. <laughs> so we will wait and see what happens tomorrow and kind of figure out what our options are and make a decision at game time. As for today, the tournament starts today. So a couple of the guys that I train with, my my professor, which is like my coach, my master, uh, Suyon, he's gonna be fighting today. So we're gonna go over to the convention center and watch them fight, which is gonna be really cool and awesome. And then tonight, Maybe we'll go to dinner and hang out because we planned on like going out on the town and I was gonna have a few drinks and celebrate, you know, having my fight. But now it's like I have to fight tomorrow. So now I still have to be like <laughs> reserved and can't eat too much or I might gain a couple pounds and miss my weight class or something stupid. So also this is following us everywhere we go. <sighs> you don't have to tell them about that. <laughs> it is so funny. I like, I'm right above my weight class by like a pound or two, which means if I just do what I normally do, I will not weigh the correct amount. So I have to eat a little bit less and I have to like make sure I'm not drinking too much water and that I don't go over my weight. So I've been using this scale and Allie keeps making fun of me. He literally brought his glass full size scale from Utah on the plane to LA. I just think that's hilarious. I'm sorry. It's enough jibber jabber. We're heading to the tournament. California has a lot of like influence from Mexico, a lot of food, a lot of amazing qualities that come from Mexico. But the guys with the carts with the fresh fruit, nostalgic. that's something that reminds me of the yeah, ad in Mexico. You pay like a dollar and you get a cup of the best fruit you've ever had in it's your life. so good. <laughs> Thank you. You can tell we're not here for whatever these are. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
we just arrived. Things are just getting started for the day. Today is black, brown, it's purple, everything except and blue. <laughs> Every belt except for white. <laughs> So it's kind of like a practice day for Trent to like see how things go, see where he needs to check in and get weighed in. We're waiting for the rest of his team from his gym to arrive um, so we can kind of help coach them on. And Nobody's helping coach anybody. <laughs> provide some moral support. <laughs> <laughs> We're here to watch. <laughs> What's up? Nice good to morning. see you. How are you good. feeling? Are we good? Yeah, I feel good. It's good. good. Perfect. Did you 160, already weigh in? 166. Did they let you weigh in already? No, no. Outside. So you can drink two pounds of Pedialyte. I would leave here. You guys have a spot? Uh huh. Okay. How are you? <laughs> How are you? How are you? Right. What a nice unit. Well, that's really cool. We just saw Su Yan, Trent's professor, fight. Um, and he's a black belt. He's a six degree black belt. So there's like different stages even of being a black belt. And I think he's at the top. You can't even go further than that. Um, he's the highest black belt you can achieve. So um, he won easily, but it was still really exciting to see black belts fight. Their mouths are closed. They're breathing evenly out of their nose. Like they're really uh, tuned in to keeping it calm and uh, like precise. It's so technical and it's very different than watching other belts fight, so it's pretty cool. Um, we have a couple other of Trent's teammates fighting this afternoon, but really uh, I think this is just psyching Trent out a little bit. He's nervous for his fight tomorrow and it's a bummer that everybody is actually flying out tonight, so it's just gonna be me and him tomorrow. Potentially our friend Tony is gonna come watch, but um, his coach won't be here, which is a big deal because all these guys look to the sidelines to their coach during the fight to like get some tips if, if things are a little bit tricky. So it'll be really Trent fending for himself, which is exciting, but nerve wracking for him. So for now, we're just taking it in, enjoying uh, spending some time watching other people fight and getting psyched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Amazing. Boa, boa, boa. Exactly like you train, huh? Yeah. That's good. Very good. Good match. That was really cool to not only get to watch Suyan compete, but to watch him win his class. So Suyan is super advanced. And when you see some of these guys out here competing, you see that they are like going 100%. They're going crazy. And he is just like got it under control he's like not even tired right now it's yeah. exactly how he trains like when he trains with us it's just very slow and controlled That's cool. and he fights like that when he's fighting these you know best guys in his weight class at black belt so so he just got gold it's yeah pretty cool he got gold <laughs> he'll probably compete in the absolute which is like where all the gold medal guys from the different weight classes compete against each other oh, cool. so maybe we'll get to see that later today but my wife is pregnant and she is hungry so we're breaking I also just feel like I'm on vacation even though like I'm not doing anything here we don't have Leo with us so right. I'm just like let's eat let's hang out and I'm not competing so like full vacation mode <laughs> very exciting so we're gonna go grab some lunch
job, team. Everyone has fought except for you. And, uh, no pressure or anything. It's the end of the day, all of Trent's teammates have competed. Um, two of them got bronze, his coach got gold, and Trent is tomorrow. He is weighing himself on the test scale now to see if he's even close, remotely close, hopefully close, to uh, making weight. This is something he's been very, very nervous about. And if he doesn't make weight, that means he's automatically disqualified. So he has no opportunity to like bump up a weight class or change anything. He either makes weight or he goes home. Is he stressed? How does he feel? 153.8, so let's get my Dude, scale and test it. Good job! Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay. That's, That's true. How close that is to my scale. What's your gi normally? Three pounds? 3.2 3 pounds. Yeah. So, yeah. He brought his scale. <laughs> so funny. This is the, uh, the calibration test. Oh, so this scale is heavier. Well, that's good. What did that just say? 154.1. And what do you have to be? 154.6 with the gi. Okay. So I just have to be under 154.6 with the gi on, on this scale, and then I'll like definitely be low on that one. Okay. Let's head back to the hotel and uh, rest for the day. We are back in our hotel room, and the other big news of this trip is that our first hotel room had no heat. There's a sink right here. It is freezing in it is here. absolutely freezing. How do we turn oh that off? Oh my gosh. And we are very happy to have been switched to a room that does have heat because it's kind of cold here in LA. Even though I think of LA being like warm and sunny beaches and like hot weather and palm trees, it's been like kind of rainy and overcast and cool. But back home in Utah, things have been insane. Yeah. Like, crazy. like so crazy, snow, wind, snow and wind. We're happy that uh, Leo is in good hands, the dogs are in good hands, and while we're here enjoying the rainy, you know, mid-50s here in California, it's been, uh, it's been tolerable. And we oh, had fun yeah. today, you know, watching Suyon and some of my teammates compete. That was a real treat, so I tomorrow... I think Trent is going to make weight. I should. So tomorrow is going to be fantastic. Tomorrow is when we'll find out if I'm going to make weight. But Give him some love in the comments, guys. He's got this. <laughs> <laughs> but I think this is probably where we're going to let you guys go on this video. If you guys want to see me compete, it'll be in the next video. So if you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks again to June's Journey for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.